Welcome back to Full Coverage. We are so happy you're here today. Your favorite podcast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, wow, I set her up uh, like, uh, like. Uh, he's boom. like, and, and I'm like, wah, wah. Mm, mm, mm. So today's podcast is going to be reviewing some of our <laughs> hilarious. We're, we're going to be reacting to some of our cringiest, funniest moments. But like, they're so funny. Like, I'm, I'm actually really excited because when we were like kind of deep diving into our content for this, <laughs> I was like. I was cringing at myself, so I knew that this was gonna be a good one. We knew it, baby. I'm terrified, oh, but I'm we, so excited. Oh, we knew it. Because we've had, you guys, we've had a long, long, long career. It's been a while. And we've had a, a lot of funny, cringy moments. I mean, it's been fulfilled with them. It's yes. been riddled. Yeah, riddled. I look like a bowler today. A bowler? A bowler. Well, I look like a little piece of orange bold juice. Bold peanuts. I look, I like bold peanuts. <laughs> you look like I bold like this is an peanuts. This off-the-shoulder kind of linen it, shirt. I feel, like, I feel like it is. We're going to do off-the-shoulder today. By the way, everyone's like, can you please put in the description your tops? This is from Zara. I'm sorry. I, me I mean to do that. Do it. I, I forget. No one ever Where's asks yours mine. From? Where's yours from? Uh, Share. ASOS. There you go. No, I didn't, my, my tops from the ASOS. The more you know. The more you know. But you guys, so I think we should start off with our peak and pit this week. Because we didn't so. share one last week, so it's time it's to share time. a peak and a ping. Okay. Okay, who's, are we gonna, who's gonna start first? I'm gonna let you start with your pe peak. peak well, my peak. peak, okay. Okay, my peak's gonna be that I was the judge and coach of the Benefit Brow Search. Oh my god! Uh, this year's Benefit Brow Search, I went out with Benefit. Congratulations. I went out with Benefit Cosmetics and we went to um, Arizona and mm -hmm. we did the brow search with them. And so basically what the brow search is, is like a competition that Benefit holds every single year where they have contestants kind of all come together and compete for $50,000 Yeah. to do like the like challenges, different kind of, you know, social media kind of posts and things like that to see like, okay, are you going to be the winner, not the winner, things like that. So I was a coach this year with Chloe Morello and Karen. Love it. You, Karen. Um, and it was really fun. I actually just had a really, really great time getting to meet all these creators. And it's so crazy. Like, when you meet creators who have just kind of started out that yeah. are like new and fresh and so excited, it makes me like so inspired in a way. It's like revamps your it like revamps inspiration like, for yeah. it. Yeah. It revamps like my like passion and drive because seeing them being so passionate and like driven towards that, I'm like, oh. It's amazing. Like it kind of like, it like breathes Lights air back the into fire. me. Yeah, it's like a little like fanning of the I'm flames. sure they had such great energy and like so excited to be there too. They really did and it was just really cool and you know, it was funny. Like I, I've seen like so many comments all over that were like, you know, this is rigged. Rigged. This is crazy. And I'm like, how is it rigged? How is it like, rigged? Like I'm like I literally was like when I was even saying I was like, how is it rigged? I'm so confused. Like literally, like people submit the content. Yeah. And it's like rated off of like what the judges as well as benefit thought would be great. I can thumb thumb stopping. They say it's thumb stopping, so you're like scrolling. Okay. Stop. Yeah. So that's like their thing. It's like it needs to be thumb stopping, and so. We like chose based off of all those things, all that criteria and whatnot. Being like, is it captivating? Is it well edited? Is it well shot? Is it well transitioned? So many different things kind of go into and it. Like, it's a personality still, fire. And people still say, and people are still like, it's rigged. Well, what's going on? Why is it rigged? So I want to say congratulations to Abby. She was the winner. Oh my gosh! Congratulations, congratulations to Abby. Abby. She won fifty thousand dollars. Wow! And it was that's a big prize. It, it was insane. Like it was absolutely that's insane. Like that's a, that is. It's life changing. So. It's really cool. She has al alopecia, uh -huh. and so she was doing it. And like there was, I remember when we were reading her, her caption, one of her submissions, and it was like, you know, alopecia took my brows, but benefit gave me the back. Oh my! God. And when I read that, I'm not kidding you. I got like full body chills. Yeah, that's amazing. Because I was like, as someone with an autoimmune disease myself, I was you just could like, relate. I can really relate and like kind of understand like what she's been through, and mm -hmm. not in obviously the same way, but in just like a, a smaller capacity, a different capacity. Um, so I was really, really proud of her and really happy with her. She did content. that. She really did. You that. guys check her out by the. The way she's, she's amazing Abby i follow Artistry. her i follow a lot of the contestants i was so excited to they're see cool. them on there they're so cool and they're I so love, sweet i love seeing like up and coming people i love mm -hmm. you know getting invested in what they're doing their stories and, their and they stories. were all all 24 were truly incredible like we met 24 it gets to dwindle down to 12 and then three Whoa. so it's literally like the cuts are so gigantic we literally i'm not kidding you like we were in the room deliberating there was like one where we were there for i'm not kidding you like maybe like 45 minutes and it got to the point where we were all like raising our hands like who do you guys think <gasps> like it was to that point where wow. we couldn't even decide because it was like, so mutually. so it's like what's it called when it's like everyone's so good that it's hard it's like splitting yeah. hairs. we're at the point where it's like okay well what do you think about this like do you think that it's gosh and it probably this hurts way. to have to cut someone i mean oh my you god you don't want to cut a small influencer for their chance no. for that you know, exposure and money. I started tearing up. Karen fully was starting to cry. Yeah. Like it was like a, a lot. Fool. It was, it was just, it's a hard thing Ugh. to do that, but it was really rewarding. And 
I'm grateful that I got to do it. But it truly was like, like magical. Like wow. I, there's another word than like other than magical. And it was, I'm really grateful. Benefit knows how to do something right. They do. Um, okay. So it. my peak for the week is fabulous because I get these urges to go to a chain restaurant. I mm. like to eat at a lot of specific little niche restaurants around LA because LA is full with opportunities of delicious food at restaurants you'll never get to eat at anywhere else. Yeah. There's a lot of self-owned businesses here and there's a lot of cool restaurants here. But every now and again, I really get in the mood to go to like a P.F. Chang's, a uh, Cheesecake, totally. you know, some chili, stuff that's more chain franchised out. So you kind of can get those anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Ty, I want Benihana's. Ooh. I love Benihana's. I actually don't like the hibachi. And okay. I specifically don't like eating at the hibachi mm -hmm. because it takes forever. It, it truly takes forever. Like sitting, you're gonna wait. I'm like you have to wait until your whole entire table's there. Mm -hmm. And then you have to wait, you know, take everybody's order. It's not just you and your husband. It's right. like so what me and Aaron have always done, we used to go there all the time and we would always eat at the bar. So you Got don't it. have to do the hibachi. Love it's perfect. That. You just order the hibachi chicken and you get and it, it without there. the show. Got it. Seen the show a hundred times. You I can, did, you girl, can do I'm without the show. I'm you're just hungry. hungry. Absolutely. So I convinced Ty, I'm like, please. He doesn't like chain restaurants, really. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm so too good but for this. But Cheesecake Factory's good. Yeah, tell him the truth, Ty. Tell him the truth. Tell Wait, I need my phone. Are you not on camera? Hold on. Well, you Hold have on. to have headphones on, on to hear me. On. Okay, I have them on. Um, me too. I am too good for chain restaurants. Uh, what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, so that's a fact, actually. He, he'll, give your, fact. he'll give gotcha. you a really hard time if you try to eat at a chain restaurant. But then I'll, like, still eat it. <laughs> exactly. Nice. And then enjoy You'll it. still yeah. eat. You just had and pollo loco today. <laughs> Literally. Fuck Literally. off. <laughs> hey, chill out. Why you put me on blast? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I love pollo loco. So I'm like, please send me to Benihana's. And I'm like, it's fine because I'll tell him we just want to sit at the bar. Yeah. And... So we go there, check in. She's like, okay. And I was like, well, if the wait's really long for the bocce, can we just, we'll just eat at the bar. Cause mm -hmm. we don't, and Ty specifically doesn't love eating with a bunch of strangers. Totally. I don't either, man. I'm I just mean, trying I don't to either. eat. I'm just trying either. to eat. Yeah. For a celebration, great. No, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to eat. And she's like, oh, we're not serving at the bar. And we both no. look at each other. We're like, no. oh, And God. there's like plates and like silverware all over, over the, the bar. bar. And, and there's, there's people, people eating, eating at so the what, bar. So what the fuck is she talking about? I, We'll never no know. Idea. I am convinced she didn't understand what I was saying. Okay. I, we didn't want to argue we, with her. I don't so want to argue. I never want to like, argue. Oh, it'll be like five minutes and we'll sit you down. Because so the thing like, is, okay. I assume that they might know who I am if it's a young girl. And I assume and that it's Laura Lee argue with me. So I'm yes. like, you know what? I'll do whatever you say so you don't think I'm yeah. rude. And I hate that about myself, but I do that a lot because I don't want people to think I come across rude. I just wanted to eat at the bar, not the hibachi, but that's okay. Mm. So they ended up seating us at the hibachi. Me and her are like, oh, let's sit at the end. We can just kind of like mind our own business a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, perfect. So then um, three other couples sit at our table and the guy that sits beside Ty, no one sat beside me because I was at the very end, but the guy that sits beside Ty is this old man he appeared to be an old Caucasian man that spoke fluent Japanese. Oh. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> According to and him. Uh. he lived in Japan. So he comes to Benihana's and he's literally like asking every single employee there, you speak Jap Japanese? Because he wants to speak he it with to, them. He wants to speak Japanese. I'm like, dude, you pick Benihana's. <laughs> like, so this is your peak or your pit? This is <laughs> yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Wait a minute. Is this, minute. Is this, this peak or peak? It gets or so funny okay, got it. for me, but not for Ty. Got it. But it's funny <laughs> it's, for it's me. It's your peak it's my and Tyler's pit. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> So Tyson by the guy and, and the guy every time he talks he's looking directly at Ty because he wants Ty to engage in the conversation Fully. so badly yeah. and Ty like no he's like I don't want to do it I don't I would, do so it. we were kind of sitting at a corner so I kind of like <laughs> like he's in my line of sight yeah so like I'm trying to face kind of towards Laura so totally. I don't have to look at him but according to Laura like he's looking at me every time he says something and I'm like <laughs> oh, wait yeah. to see a reaction yes like, yes, uh, yes it was uh -huh. that that's what it was and he literally Every employee of the restaurant was like, No, I do not speak Japanese. And he was <laughs> like, so Sure don't. Sure don't. And he, he was like, uh, oh. Yeah, that was literally him. He was literally <laughs> him. And we're just like, What's going on? He had like, Why did you come to Benihana? So, anyways, he's like oh asking this chef, and the chef's like, Or the cook is the hibachi grill master, mm. is like, <laughs> Is like, No, I do not speak Japanese. I, I was like, Oh, thank God. Maybe that'll be the last person he yes. asked. 
So then he starts like kind of going in on how this is not authentic uh, and it's so bad how they cook mm, the hibachi rice here. Like you see mm, all that they're putting in it. Japanese people would never do that. They would they never, never add taint soy. it. Yeah. And it's like going off and we're just, I'm like, dude, you came to Benny Haunt. <laughs> he <laughs> like, was telling us that it's an insult, insult. to put anything on your rice. And insult. it's an insult if you don't eat every grain of rice. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> So he's one by one, actually. Well, so he tells me this story because, like, of course, he's engaging with me directly at this yeah, point. He like, is. me it, and him are on a first name basis deep. at this uh, point. They are. And so he's telling me directly about the rice situation. <laughs> and now I'm like, well, shit, it's time for me to order rice. <laughs> I feel obligated to order just white rice. <laughs> yes, I can't get, like because he just went on and on about the rice. Oh, and I'm like, and he's like dogging the restaurant and like people. He's like who, these fucking losers yes. ordering <laughs> weird rice. Yes. and then and it comes to me and he's like, rice. "What are you gonna order?" Yeah, yeah. So Ty literally looks at me. He's like, "I can't put soy on my rice." <laughs> So we, I mean, I was fine getting white rice. I like white rice. But when it came time to eat the rice, I'm like secretly dipping it in soy sauce. He's like side. hiding it and trying to it's dip it. in your it. pocket. You're like. So this man won't judge him. I literally looked at the man in the eye and said, I will have the hibachi chicken fried rice. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, and extra soy. Honey, that's oh. what I come here for. If oh. you don't like it, you're at the wrong restaurant. Uh-huh. I love it. One of the better parts of the night is he's on a date, right? And this woman, oh. they've probably been on a date a couple of days. They, He's not by himself? No. No, no, no. He was, was on by a date. himself this whole time. Oh, no. He ain't talking to this woman. He, so he's, he ain't engaging. Got it. He, but he's so speaking, he's a swinger. He, he speaks gotcha. to her, but like he won't listen to like any of the stories. He won't engage mm. with any of her he stories. He only wants it's to all engage with himself. Tyler. No, it's and, with Tyler. And me, yeah. He really wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so the whole rice situation happens, right? And the couple next to them ordered two things of fried rice because it was their first time at Benihana's. They didn't understand how it worked. And they were like, oh, we got two much so they passed it to the guy's date she then asks her man if he wants any and he's like no and she's like again he's she's against ins- it and she's it. insisting so she goes to dump it on his plate and <gasps> he lost his shit <laughs> no he let me tell you out. how he said he goes like this no no thank you and then she starts to dump it no 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 <laughs> no and that's why he starts screaming no like that over and over and you're I'm like, kidding <gasps> Like if she don't drop that rice, she's about to get drop kicked in the restaurant. <laughs> I'm talking about. I just want to give you this man's probably 65 years old too, and so is the woman. Yeah. So you guys, he starts going off. I'm busting out almost trauma. laughing yeah, because I would be laughing I've heard so the rice conversation, yeah. and then I see this woman about to dump the insulting rice on mm-hmm. this man's plate, and he lost seven years he, of bad luck. He lost it yes. on her. So then the food comes out, we're eating, and he won't quit talking to Ty. Ty literally is looking at me straight in my face, and he's like. So, like, this is why I didn't want to come here. <laughs> this is why I want it to not be I would be turn here. to Laura at certain points. I'm like, I'm just going to say words to you just so he thinks that we're having a, a conversation. Com- I'm just, so I'm just speaking and, the, and just, just to speak. Yes. So then he sees, he's like, oh, what steak do you get? Ty's like, I got the filet fl- mignon. Fl- I got the flamingo the mignon. Fl- flamingo you got fl- the filet. Fl- and the guy's like, oh, I got this steak. You got the fancy steak. Ty goes, it was $3 more, so I just got this one. So the- Oh, so when <laughs> he sets it, the cook, she sets it on my plate, and he hadn't got his steak yet. Mm. The guy looks at me and says, sell me a piece of your steak. <laughs> sell me? <laughs> sell, sell. sell me a piece of your steak. That's how I said it. He's like, sell me a piece of your steak. And I was like... Oh, you you can you I can have, have a, embarrassment. You him. can like, have a piece. It was it was getting rough. I'm yeah. embarrassed for him. The man starts eating off Tyler's plate. <laughs> no, he didn't. The man starts eating Tyler's steak. Yeah, I mean, I can't make it so, up. So, oh, you know what? You, I just realized I forgot to mention this. Laura. This is trauma. You know why we hit it off? This is trauma. Why? Do you know why? Because I was using chopsticks <gasps> to eat my salad, oh. and he loved it. He was He's like, like, "Oh my god, a, Jap- a fellow Japanese fanatic." Yes, it was like just me and you eating yes. chopsticks. He's like, "What anime do you watch?" All these rookies. Yeah, he's like calling it. I'm literally like, bitch, you're at Benny Hanna's. They serve you with a fucking fork because they know that these it's ain't, it ain't authentic. It's not the most authentic experience. Let's just say that. So, I, so yeah, he asked me for a piece of steak, right? And like, I'm eating with chopsticks, which they've obviously been in my mouth. So I'm like, I'm not just going to pick up, you know, the steak with my chopsticks and put it on his plate. Right. So I'm like, just get a piece. So he starts eating off my plate. <laughs> 
It was really funny. I'm and like crying laughing at this I would point. be dying. And he didn't offer me any of his steak when it came He's out. He's like, that's good eating. <laughs> He's, like, mm. He's like, I got the cheap steak, but I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> I would have the good steak, the $3 more steak. He it, even goes on to tell me, He's like, let me tell you the difference between my steak and your steak. Oh, okay. God. Sookie Stackhouse, tell us. <laughs> my steak, it was a bit chewier. Your steak, it was like butter. It was slithering down my throat. <laughs> he was like, you only chewed a few times and it's done. Slithers down your throat. I was like, this oh, is too much. I can't. Ty's like, this is it for you, Laura. He's like, no there's no more Benihana's Benihana's There's for no you. more Benihana's you're, hibachi. It's, it's so essentially you were grounded. I just wanted to eat at the bar, man. They would have just let us eat at the bar. Made my life too been different. I don't want to see. I don't want to sit with strangers. I don't want to talk. Do I don't want to man. I, wa I didn't even get to talk to Ty the whole entire dinner. Not really. No. This and then it got about. really, really cute at the end, though, because the guy's like, I own this car wash, and because you let me have some steak, I would like for you to get a free car wash. Oh, well, he pulls out his <laughs> business card, and he writes free car wash oh. on the business I'm like, card. We just <laughs> I'm like, there's no way this is going to work. There's no way in hell. I'm like, who's to say we pass. didn't just write free car no, wash? No, literally, how would like how would that even work? Because it's like the car wash is his card. card. His card. It's not yeah. his name on it. Oh. Yeah, no, his name was on it. Okay, there you go. And on top of that, you could have still wrote. Free you car flip wash. it over to the back side of his card, and he sells a better help, like a help book. What? what what's it called? <laughs> like self help. Self help, not better help. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yes. Self help. He he has like. 10 principles that he lives by on the back honestly i agreed with out. all the principles i'm okay. gonna give, i'm gonna give them that they were like actually stuff out of self-help books like they're like, good yeah they're like love yourself and like stuff like that like Got they it. were good they're very powerful it's just like the whole experience like i was like crying collectively laughing. it's like of wild. course we sit to the next to this guy and it, it just oh, he's always, a nice guy Don't such a wrong. nice for sure, guy for so, sure just like someone who's so not aware it's just like so yeah. nice though it was super nice ty was of course i feel like the older you get the less you care when it comes to the things like it's that. what it is but we're wanting just to you know have a private dinner and chat and we chose Benny i Hanna's chose ain't the it ain't that, the place sweetie. and now we no. know now no we know. oh no we knew before no i thought we could sit at the bar me and aaron yes. always would go and sit at the bar so we wouldn't have to do the hibachi so that's my peak. That shit was so funny that, to me. That would be a peak for me as well. I, I refused and to it get was engaged Tyler's in that, that too. Pick. There's just no way. I was at the point where I was like staring, my head turned all the way at the restaurant. So I was like, I'm not deep diving into this. No, because there's, there's moments like that with me too that I just like, sometimes for me, it's more so like if it's like in an Uber and the Uber oh. is super, super, super talkative. And I'm like, I... Just truly cannot, cannot do this do right this. now. I don't want to. Like, I don't, I want, don't want to do this. I don't want to do small talk. I don't want to do small talk. I don't want to talk about like where I'm from, where you're from. None of that stuff. I just want to be older people that are like a little more chatty, chatty and want to do small talk. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. But even then, I'm still like, and I don't know, maybe I'm like, does it make me be a bitch? But I'm just like, I just want to like have a moment because I feel like when you're, I'm an Uber, I'm not driving, so I can just focus on my phone, yeah. do emails, do whatever I need to work. do. I can work. And so whenever I'm getting talked to constantly, I can't like focus on what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, like I can't, like I literally cannot. It was so funny. My God, I'll never get to eat Benihana's again, but it was worth it. Was it. Wor it was worth your last Benihana experience. It was, it was worth it. I knew that was coming whenever she was like, you can't eat at the bar. I was like, like it, I was like, I need to walk out of here right now. Cause this is not going to end well. But as soon as that man started talking about how much he hated how they did the rice and all, and you like knew. people eating with forks, I was like, I'm not his people i need to disengage the, what's like what's the point what like, like he's gonna not i am the epitome of that so he's gonna hate my ass yeah he's sure. gonna look at you and be like well, yeah disgust dumb with ass. disgust yeah so i needed to disengage Skedaddle. what's your for pit? You. all right guys before we oh. move on to the next story <gasps> we're gonna go to a quick break oh. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point of our academic Baby, careers. Baby, let me tell you something. I got a C minus in my Spanish class and I'm Mexican. Time. And I literally was like, no, 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 no. But we have Babbel here. We have Babbel so now. We have Babbel and I actually ended up taking a little bit of the course in Spanish. Wow. And I feel like I, me entiendo un poquito más. Whoa. Oh, that was kind of good. Huh? If you guys don't know what Babbel is, <laughs> it is a language learning app that has sold more than 10 million subscriptions and wow. it's addictively fun and easy. It really is. I feel like it made it actually really easy and fun way to learn. I like it that way. I just can't learn well yeah. a language in like a course like in school. 
it's like fun and easy games yes, in a little it makes different it fun. ways. Yeah. And um, it's 15 minute lessons. So it's really easy, really quick. And you can kind of learn it like on the go. Yeah. I took one of the lessons. I thought it was actually really, really adorable. What's really, really cool is that they actually offer over a hundred language experts. <laughs> oh my God. Which is insane. Yeah. And they actually use AI for their lesson plans. Wow. Which is like so cool. That's, what technology. That's advanced. You can start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash full. That's babbel.com slash full for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Gracias a Babbel. Okay, guys, and we are back from our break with our pits. Manny, lay us with I'm the a, pit. Okay, I'm, let me lay you guys onto my pit real quick. This and it's, it's more it was more so like it was a shocking thing. <laughs> it's not even necessarily that it's like a pit and I'm so mad and devastated. I was of just course. like, what the hell? Like, this is insane. The fact that Bad Baby, Bad Baby. Bad, catch me outside. Catch me outside. How about that, Bad Baby? Dr. Phil Bad Baby showed proof from her OnlyFans that she made almost $53 million from OnlyFans from last April to this April. Fifty-three million dollars in one million year, dollars, and that is when me and Manny decide we're signing up on OnlyFans. And I think now it's time for whole picks. <laughs> it's time for the whole picks. It's to time come for out. the whole picks. And so, like, the gag is truly like to me is that like she's like what eighteen, nineteen? Yeah, she's young. She just started. Like, she just started. And I'm like, I have to look up her age. I have for to me, know. like, what's crazy is the fact that like I remember when she had just started. She like literally started OnlyFans. I think like right as she turned eighteen, okay. and there was so many like men that signed up for it that were like yeah, yeah yeah but it was like almost like creepy because she's 19 she just turned 18 okay like literally like started on her 18th birthday and like all these men signed up and it's like dude she literally looks so young it was like kind of creepy yeah absolutely and i'm like bro if you guys are like in your like 30s 40s and you're like waiting for like you're waiting for her to turn 18 to click to her only fans like oh it's fucking weird it's weird so the fact it's that weird. she made 53 million dollars off of like weirdos yeah essentially. i'm like go her making the bag for sure making the bag off these weirdos off the weirdos but i was just like kind of shocked and wilded out 53 while I was like, million i never would have guessed i would have never I in a million years guessed. that she was making 53 million dollars in one year that's crazy that's, that's i don't wild. even see her as a sexual sex symbol i mean neither not even like not at all well apparently but i think that shows like oh maybe it's like wild like wild maybe it's different. I did see this I'm like, I think girl. it's time. She made a TikTok and she's on OnlyFans and mm -hmm. she talks about what OnlyFans is like if you're mm -hmm. not already known. So Bad Baby was already, already famous mm -hmm. and already well known. So obviously that's <clears> why <throat> her OnlyFans caught wind. And yeah. she's like, you know, when influencers already have followers. But she was saying like basically like if you have no following and go on there. It's not gonna happen. Don't expect the girl was just breaking out, which is so interesting to me because I wasn't sure. Like I was yeah. like, does everybody just blow up and make millions? Yeah. But she was explaining, no, it's literally the same thing as social media. Like you you have a following and they go you know it's more in intense for people to want to see what yes. you're posting right. especially if it's scandalous mm -hmm. and then if you don't you may uh, have a hard time or maybe you can build a following in there i don't know but that's how it's going to deep dive on only fans in one episode i think it's time i think that we should because we should d deep dive into what happened with bella thorne on it yep. and how she started her own quote-unquote only fans kind of network yeah i think that we should I feel like that's and an talk episode. about like how like and i think that there was something about like how now they want to have investors with it and they like yeah. are going to make it like anti-sex work. But that's like the main point of OnlyFans for a lot of people. Right. So I'm like really intrigued by it. And I think it would be kind of interesting to do a deep dive on like how it started and what's going on. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I think we might do that. If you guys are interested, let us know. So my pit of the week. Um, okay, so mystery. I have been missing like seven pairs of shoes and immediately I'm like Aaron. Seven? Yeah, like seven or eight pairs of my shoes. And I mean, sneakers, heels, everything. So I'm like, where are my heels going? What's going on? So I'm like cleaning up my closet and I'm like, am I crazy? Like, cause there's so much space, but I hadn't gotten rid of anything. Mm -hmm. So I know shoes are missing and I could pinpoint one or two of them. And I looked in Aaron's room, but I'm talking like a pair of Louboutin heels. There's no way on earth Aaron would wear a pair of my Louboutin right. heels. Right, and they're like not they comfortable. Just ain't, yeah, they're, yeah, she couldn't even walk them. She would never do that. Maybe a pair of Converse or something. For sure. But I'm missing seven or eight pair of shoes. I guess this could be a peek of the whip. Of the week. Peak of the wit. Of the I wit. love when you say peak of the wit. I'm struggling speaking. I'm so sorry. I love peak of the wit when she says that. It's um, okay. You're my peak of the week. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> You're my peak of the wit. Oh. You're my peak of the wit. Wow. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I'm like, these mysterious shoes are missing. And I'm missing a lot of my nice shoes. And it's like, 
kind of an issue, but I'm letting it go because I have mm. a lot going on and I can't think about these seven or eight yep. pairs of missing shoes. Yep. So I'm like, where the hell are they? And so I was cleaning up my garage and we did a photo shoot for Laura, uh, for Nitty Patootie. Mm -hmm. Nitty Patootie has been closed down for a minute now because we are re right. revamping. Yes. You guys will see that soon. It's coming back. Um, I found in the corner of my garage seven or shoes. eight pairs of shoes Shut after up. our last photo shoot. Ty threw them in the trash garage just... in the red wagon. Wow. And I just, I just never knew like what happened there. And you're about to chuck them out. Uh, I found all my shoes. I was really happy. I Absolutely. guess it's kind of like a peak pit. But anyway, it felt like I went shopping. I'm wearing one pair of them right now because I mean, I was Converse like, iconic. I was like, oh my god! You're like, never leave my side again. And yeah. You're wearing them. So I found all my missing shoes. I mean, you know, it's not that deep of a pit, but it's something. But it's something. It's something. I like how that like finding your missing shoes is more of a peak. It is more than of a, a peak. Pit. But the Ty's rolling his eyes at me. <laughs> wow. He's rolling his eyes at me. Why? Because I said he threw my shoes in the garage. Ty, was it not you? <laughs> Ty, come on, let's get the defense. I feel like there's two sides. Tell your side. There is a defense. Was there? Was it not you? <laughs> it was not Call me. Call me the judge and the Johnny First and Amber all, situation right here. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I'm the one who told you that they were in there, and I think you just ignored <gasps> I me. I never oh. heard that. I said, oh, shit, this proof. girl's rich, rich. She got Louboutin just chilling oh. in the garage. No, she no, didn't no, even no, wear them. No, 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 no. You told me that after I found them. And uh, uncovered them. Yeah, I'd already found them. Gotcha. Uh-huh. And then you told me that. And I'm like, gotcha. yeah, I know. Well, maybe I did do it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably and loaded the them up. Where's my gavel, Dean? Case the closed. case is closed. Case is closed. And the investigation is no longer continuing. Yep. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I did find them. And I did do that. I'm so sorry. I didn't put them away immediately when I found them, which is lazy on me. But I found them the same because I had uncovered them. So they were out in the open. So that's when he saw them. I was like, you got Louboutins laying out in the garage. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. I didn't mean to. No. <laughs> so. Okay, Laura, let's start off with your first cringy <gasps> funny moment. Uh, Okay, I have a Go few. Go Toros. Go Toros. So let's deep dive into the cringy moments. So my first one is one that kind of has been grazed over and I never really mentioned, but mm -hmm. uh, back at when Beauty Con was like a thing, uh -huh. Nikita was doing this thing with Revlon where uh -huh. she was like glamming someone and she asked me to be the model on stage. Yeah. And this is back in like probably like 2017 era. Okay. Super close with Nikita. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah, it'll be so funny if me and you do it together. And she's like, yeah, let's do it. So we do it. It was super cute. And I'm like being super cocky and stupid because the crowd's there and they're like. Yeah, and they're hyping you yeah, up. You know, so I know you exactly just feel what you really mean. You're cool. Like, uh, uh, you're just like being that. fucking stupid. Very stupid. You're being stupid, yeah. And there was like a lip on the stage or like mm. a little mini step. And I was in heels and I didn't see it. And when I tell you in front of everybody, <gasps> after I'm all cunty and cocky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I literally trip and. I didn't, you eat I didn't eat it. Okay, but you tripped. But I'm talking about like the hair went forward. No. And it was just like a nasty mess. The makeup was wiped so, off from the ground. The, yeah, it was It was not cute. And it was just like, oh, oh. Mm. oh. But it was just so funny. I'm sure there were people snapping. Recording. It's somewhere out there. Of course, I couldn't film myself. Cause I was on the stage. But at least you didn't fully eat each shit. If you I, slipped up. I have seen people fall and and like moments when it's not funny, like it would like ruin me. Yeah. Like be so embarrassing. That would have been one that I would have oh, just sure. rolled off the stage and died. Lower the thing too is like what I've kind of realized now that I am in my early thirties is that falling now hurts harder. <laughs> it than does. Than what it does when I was in my remember when early I fell 20s. in the parking lot sure do. and when the wind just happened like this. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to ride the wind, fucking Lord, eat shit. Remember when I fell down the mountain in Hawaii? Oh Guys, God. I'm, a, I'm a and faller. remember like, outside when we've when uh, Lauren and Journey came came over, and you I fell. had skint hands for the whole podcast, <laughs> <laughs> and they drove up as I'm laid out. Like, this is pulsing right now. <laughs> I fall? Laura be falling like low key. All the time. I think you fell when we were like in Paris once. Like on the, on oh, a, I on fell a, like so a, hard because the rug was over yes, wood yes. and I thought it was stable and I went mm -hmm. down. Yep. And literally like we were like by water and I was like, Laura's going into the, the lake right Everybody's now. like in these nice outfits yes. and I'm face in planted heels. in heels and a red carpet in front of everyone. 
It's very common. I'm, I'm surprised you remember that because I just now I just, remember I just, that. It, it literally just, it just activated in my mind right now. As one of the falls. Yes, as one of the falls. If you hang out with me for long, you'll realize I literally fall 24-7. Which is funny because you know I feel like you're not actually like super clumsy when you're like walking yeah. around. But like you will fall. <laughs> I'll go down, honey. Like you will go down and you'll get on your knees. And like you just <laughs> fell two weeks ago, I could tell. <laughs> I sure did. That was so funny. That was fucking hilarious. I loved it. Hit us with one, Manny. I would say, okay, I'm going to go with one of my worst and the most talked about one, I would say, would have to be the runway. That's Tyler's favorite. I it's one hate of my favorite. That is Tyler and Laura's favorite. We love that I, one. Okay, guys, so listen, what, what had happened was. Let's hear it. Is I was asked to walk a runway show. It was the Marco Marco fashion show. I just want to say I was in the audience and I witnessed this in person. I, was like, don't, I don't think we had to add that. Oh, yeah, I was there. <laughs> I was there. So we, I obviously have never walked a runway before. I'm not a model. It was just more so like, it was like when they were asking like different creators or yeah. different like friends of like the brands like that when they were asking them and drag queens. And it was like a fun show. It was more very of like a fun lively, show. Very lively, very Yeah, fun. it's like lively. Starts off with like Alyssa Edwards, all that kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it was fun. So I was like, yeah, for sure. Like I'll walk out on mine. But the thing is, I'm like, obviously I was very insecure because I like, had to be like more meshy stuff. It was like and very underwear. little clothing. Little clothing. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that though. Like I was super scared, paranoid. So I was like, I'm You fine. didn't I'll... seem scared up there on that stage, Okay, honey. but I think I was faking it, dude. No, that was yes. real. I was like faking the confidence. You turned it on. Okay, I did turn it on. I literally was like, I, I really That's did it. When I went there, I was I've ever seen swearing. You. Yeah. I really did swear when I went up that there. That was the sassiest. Do you know what I wish? Now looking back, I wish I wore heels the whole time. I wish you did too. Like, honestly. And a fucking wig. I dead ass think I would have walked better in heels than I did I in the boots. I don't know. I, the thing is, I don't think you like, it wasn't horrible. It's just funny. Like, it's just funny. <laughs> It wasn't like, like you there's guys, been worse it's, it's walks. Not, no. Yes. Okay, there's wor there worse. There's worse. It was, it was funny because like me, I walked it, James walked it, Nikita walked it. All three of y'all got roasted. And we all got roasted for it. Nikita not the least. Not just you, Nikita the least. You and James. But me and James definitely got roasted hard for our like walks. James was walking, only one arm was moving and swinging and one was <laughs> completely still. Uh, oh yeah. And mine was like, at the end I did like a little like pose and I lit my ass up and I was like, Man, why did I do that? Like you guys, why did I do this? You were on something, but let me. I was on a good one. I wish I, I I loved it, and honestly, this is one of those moments where you get like a I lot of press mid, off something, dude. but no hate. No, it's it literally just kind of like embarrassing. It <laughs> <laughs> I see it, you guys. I'm not kidding. Like, I still will see it pop up on TikTok to this day. Because I it'll post be like, it every week. Stop <laughs> it! And it's literally it'll be like runway models versus influencers and i'm always the like it always bad, starts it, with him and it's always like the dorky like walking like ee, 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 <laughs> or like a little fart sound and, like it makes it's it worse. always like makes it 10 times worse and i'm not kidding you guys it circulates like every couple months it blows up it gets fucking viral all over again and i'm like mother fucker it's one of my favorite there videos I am. me and ty and we are part of that like we watch she, it she makes it blow up more i do laura really adds to it it's and it's one like of one of my most things. cringiest moments of all time I love it. It makes it you was, who you are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a part of Let's your Let's say journey. they were asking, I'd be like, I don't think I can walk in. I'm so sorry. I would be sad dude, if you didn't. What, what would I, I would do, Ren, I would do in heels Ren with clothes Dean on. Redeem yourself. I would do it with heels and with clothes on. Bitch, I think it's who hard because I don't cares? like to be in dude, clothes. Own it and do the exact same walk. Like, who the exact same cares? Thing. I would do, do the ass I would own and it. And then what are they going to do? Talk about you more. Yeah. Great. Darn. Yeah. Darn. I would own it. Just own it and be like, this is my walk. The problem is that I have shame. Like I'm not like shameless. You know yeah. What I mean? So I think the things like do embarrass me. Yeah. I can't help it. Like, I mean, I've definitely been me like that. too. But it's just like a moment I love so much. I guess because I know you. That's why. That's it's, why. It's like it's like it being my pit and your peak. Exactly. Because you know me and you're like yeah, yeah. It happened. it's so funny and it's I'm like so funny. My <laughs> and I'm over here like like every it just pops up all the time and I'm like why. Does this have to happen to me? Right. All the time. You got to think of the Kardashians in those moments. How many moments does like Kim have that are so cringy and embarrassing with her yeah. crying yeah. and acting, hitting, beating her sister's ass. Yes. They're going to come over and she just owns it. She's like, it is what it is. It's part of my life. Be a Kimberly. Life. Own that I'm shit. I'm not going to be a Kim. It's part of your life. I'm going to, it's part of it. It's part of my journey. What I hope is you get to walk again and I would love to see either a better walk or a recreation. Either way, I'll mm -hmm. be front row. You know, I'll be cheering you on, mm -hmm. filming it this time for myself. Cause I'm gonna post the viral content. <laughs> I'm like, and yo, everybody, and yo, watch me. Look at this fucking walk, dude. <laughs> it's round two, bitches. Look at this fucking round ass two shit. Oh my so, god. So yeah, guys, that's I would say one of my 
biggest that was cringiest iconic. moment. It's, it's gotten to an iconic point, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gotten to icon status. We are icon walk. status yeah, on that one. Yeah, I think we've gotten there. Okay, I have like a minute <laughs> cringy one. Um, so I was in New York. This uh-huh. was a long time ago, like 17, I would think. Mm-hmm. And I was in New York. I was with you. And I really, 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 really wanted to go home because I'm not a New Yorker. Yeah. And I had been there for like six days straight. Oh, is this one we were there for like literally over a week almost? A week. Yeah. Yeah, it was a doozy. I, like yeah. I wanted to go home. We have like shit to do every single day. My manager called me and said, um, Hey, I, the Today Show is doing segments on influencers and their brand. Like, mm-hmm. they agreed if you want to go on at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning or, like, get there for it and, like, go on really yes. quick. And I was like, damn, I can't really turn up the opportunity. Right, that's cool. That's so cool for yeah. to be on the Today Show. So I was like, all right. Um, I was like, shit, I'll stay one more night. I'll do it. And um, I didn't have any clothes to wear for because I had packed, like, more skimpy clothes right. for, like, these fashion events yeah. and stuff. So I didn't want to wear them on Today Show. So I stopped by Zara to grab something and I grabbed this outfit which i thought was so cute mm-hmm. and i got my ass roasted everybody was like this bitch wore a robe night clothes <laughs> a robe on the today show and i'm gonna insert the picture here of oh my me i'll let uh-huh. you guys judge it literally looks it's not bad though I thought it was like cute. it's really yeah exactly i'm like i don't think it's even looking back i like definitely crazy. would have worn something completely For different sure. you know what i mean right but, um, but your style was different back then too. That's true, and style in general. Was style different in back general then. was different. Your style was different. All that stuff. It does look like I wore a bathrobe with heels, which honestly, it's a look. It's a look, and I'm gonna own it. Like it's a look. It's fine. It's, it's fine. not that big of a deal. I would wear like a sharp blazer or something nowadays. Absolutely, like a loose blazer. Oh yeah, with like a strappy heel. Yeah. It would have been fabulous. But I wore yeah. a bathrobe on the Today Show, and I thought like. I thought it was going to be about while wow, you're on the Today Show. It was like, what the fuck are you wearing? 100%. Is what it became about. And that's okay. And that's okay. That's fine. If you guys ever have a choice and have something serious, don't go with a silky robe as your outfit. Pick something Maybe different. Maybe a blazy. Maybe a blazer. Yeah, I think a blazy for Aww. sure. Something a little bit like if, if you ever, if when in doubt, dress up. You can Honestly. never be overdressed. You, you can, can always be underdressed. be underdressed. Absolutely. When in doubt, turn it out. What's your next one? My next one, I would have to say one of my cringier moments, but like funny as fuck to me was when I was doing the like Cholan impersonations back in the day. <gasps> baby when I was sleepy. When I would do Baby Sleepy back <sighs> in the day. I had an impersonation too. I did Aunt Shirley. Oh my God, yes. I had one of those too. Okay, but listen, you know what's crazy? Like I actually thought it was really funny like doing, because I grew up in Chula Vista, which if you guys don't know, is in San Diego, but it's like the, it's like the most South portion. San Diego's right by the border. I grew up, I've had like, family members who are cholas like i grew up around that culture you know what i mean yeah. like i my junior high high school cholas cholos everywhere like that's just like what i was around constantly mm-hmm. so for me it was and i would also watch um danny noriega who is adore now like adore oh and delana so she would, yeah adore delano so she would do a um angel baby like <gasps> funny chola impersonation and oh it literally God. like raised me like oh. it was so fucking funny and it was basically an ode to that it was like inspired by her doing that so i would always do these like funny like chill out impersonation things but it's crazy because like after like a while so i get to the point where it's like you're appropriating chola culture oh. and i was like oh um i'm mexican though yeah like i didn't really understand like, i didn't it's like understand. part of your culture i was like it's part of my culture even though technically i wasn't a cholo mm-hmm. or chola it was like oh well like you don't understand like the culture behind it and i was like well i'm mexican i have family who's Cholas and cholas. It was like, like a part of you growing it up. It was part of me growing up. Like, so I was like, so I didn't understand how it wasn't. I just kind of ended up just stopped doing it because yeah, I didn't want it you to didn't be like an issue. You create something. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to create an issue um, from it. But I was like, even now looking back, I'm always, I'm still like so confused as to like how I was. Baby sleeping. I'm Mexican appropriating Mexican. I didn't understand. And it's not like you hadn't ever seen people. It, that, I'm like, dude, know, I'm literally like, I, that's what I'm around. We grew and I up in true La Vista and even family members, and family members and part of close it. friends of mine. And all of a sudden I was like, how is it on my culture? If it's like, Cholos and Cholos are like Mexicans. Mexican. Who are like, you know, gangbangers essentially. Oh, that's why I, mean, I don't I understand. Obviously. obviously, I mean, but also your jokes were not like no, they were like, not they at weren't all. like ragging on Mexican culture Absolutely. or like, like hating funny, on it. No, it was God, just no. you dressing up and being mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, and just like being like funny, just being like damn it, dude. Like right, it's kind of like almost like just a funny little character. Would you say um Adams is but similar? No, I would. I wouldn't even say Adam Ray Okay would be similar in that way. Cause it wasn't like even like chola. It was more so like 
like chunty okay inside like okay. class yeah like very yeah. like a specific type of girl but yeah. wouldn't necessarily say it's like a chola right got you it. know what i mean so it's very like chunty like hey dude is that a, give me a dollar I, open your purse that dude. is the funniest that's just so fucking funny shit and it's funny because i grew like ever. i grew up with that like that ever. was literally all around me in chula right. i went to hilltop so for those of you guys know you know you I know went to hilltop. so i went to hilltop junior high and then i went to otai but I like grew up around that atmosphere. So yeah. I was like, so I was just like, that's what I thought it was. I was just so used to it. But when people started saying that, like, oh, you're not a chola cholo, da, 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 and I was like, I'm not. I guess I'll just stop. I'm doing going this. back when I go home, I'm watching Baby Sleepy because I just have to remember. I remember it. I haven't forgotten, but I need to like relive you some need of that. Re- why don't we? Why don't we? Would you upload leave- YouTube videos or was it just on Instagram? I did one YouTube video. You did one. I did like a chola makeup tutorial on YouTube. Um, and this was like, 2016 2015 like so so, so long, long ago. ago um where i just felt like people you know i got a couple comments here and there but it wasn't anything too intense yeah. um you know now looking back i feel like it'd be like much more like intense no like you okay can't do got that. it and i and i wonder why because i am mexican but i feel like because i don't almost like speak spanish constantly or mm-hmm. i'm not like constantly throwing in the face people that i'm like i'm mexican yeah that that's it became you like definitely a, show you know, your culture like I if do. i go to your page like i definitely see your culture like you can tell I'm it's not like it's not there no for sure it's but because there. i'm not, not consistently so overtly like, yes. like look at me and my hot cheetos constantly like right you know what i mean like it's right. almost like this like stereotype with it yeah and i feel like people that stereotype with it can do jokes like that but because you but because didn't. I didn't, and I speak, and I can't really speak Spanish as well, and things like that. It was like, oh no, like you then can't you do can't this. You can't do that. And I was like, but I'm still Mexican. Like it's still part of my culture, right? And something you experienced, and it's something too. I experienced. So I was like, like, I don't, I didn't understand it. I just kind of stopped doing it because I didn't want it to be upsetting to anyone. Because it was supposed anyone. to be something fun and totally. Funny. And it was like for me, it was also like a little outlet, totally. You know, and like I loved watching, uh, you know, Danny Noriega do it. So I was like, oh, I want to do that too, and yeah. I was inspired by that. Um, so yeah, I didn't really understand it, but no. that was one of my funny cringe moments. I thought it was really funny back in the day, especially looking back. I love the wig. The wig was the wig? so fucked up. The wig was like so the funny. like dark lip liner. Oh yeah. The like wings out to like out here. I loved it. It was it was kind of iconic. Do you feel like there were any chilla girls out there that loved it? I, I hope so. I think so. I hope so. I, I hope that they saw so. and they were just like thinking it was fucking <laughs> funny, funny and like you know, it was just like I had like the funny little accent to go with it. It was, it was like the whole thing, but it was never something I was never making fun of Chilean culture, and I was never making fun of Mexicans. It was just more so like playing up a caricature. I was right. Never making fun of right my own people. Right. What the fuck? You were wanting to be a part of the culture. Yeah, absolutely. And have fun with it. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's talk about Adriana Lima. Should we take a break first? We should take a break. <laughs> and then we'll talk about Miss Adriana. And then Lima. we'll talk about that. Period. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You guys, life it can be pretty overwhelming, and many oh, yeah. people are burned out without even knowing it. I know I get burned Baby, out. Baby, I do every. I know freaking, I do all every week. Every, every week, there's something that happens. That's Symptoms right. can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Mm-hmm. Any of our roles in life can lead to us feeling burnt out. And BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. I feel like it's so important because I think that a lot of times in the world that we live in, we focus on so many other people and what's going on in their world, what's going on in their life, and you want to take care of them. But it's so important to be able to look back and look into the mirror and be like, yo, sometimes we need help. I know I do. I think mental health is one of the things we should be putting the, the even forefront. more than like physical like mental health forefront. should be our forefront because everything else works better when you're mentally well we have to fortify the mind that's just and i think that might be a little bit of a marvel term for me <laughs> yeah. but i do feel like when you really strengthen the mind everything falls into place better help is customized online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat sessions to, with your therapist so you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist within under 48 hours i Love it, you guys. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and full coverage with Manny Mue and Laura Lee. Listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash full coverage. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash full coverage. All 
right, baby, we're back. And I'm going to mention this little story with Adriana Lima. It's cringy for me, but I'll, I'll insert a picture um, here of proof that, you know, this. you can it. see the look in my face in the picture. I'm remembering too. the story. So I'm with Maybelline. I'm in New York with them. And a couple other girls are. And they presented us because Adriana Lima, who is like at the time, like one of the most one of the faces infamous in the uh, Victoria's Secrets models, like totally. one of the sickest models ever. So they're like, you guys get to work out with her in the morning or the the next day or yeah. whatever at this like do a workout with her yeah and i'm mm -hmm. like huh because at this time because again why does everything happen in 2017 that was cringy i, I don't know I don't it was know. A, it was a different time it was a year us. of experiencing yeah things. we experienced a lot in 2017 uh, uh, too much yeah um so i was like okay i don't work out really mm. but you know i'm here to play along right it's, like, it's a, a cool experience sport. too to be with adriana and then i didn't eat breakfast that morning so i was like let me go <laughs> Uh, I'm because the thing is, there's a time difference in New York. Uh -huh. So when I wake up at eleven o'clock there, it's eight in the morning, eight here. In the morning uh -huh. here. So I woke up around eleven. So I was like, "Damn, the workout's in like an hour." I was like, "Ty, let's go to Chipotle and eat, and then mm. we'll walk over and do the workout." Yeah. <laughs> so we walked to Chipotle. We get a big meal. I down this huge Dr Pepper, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "All right," because I'm thinking we're not really in a workout with her. Right, it's like a cutesy like. <laughs> Stretchy. Oh, yes. Yes, we get to take Yoga. a picture. Uh -huh. Bitch, when I tell you, when we walked in, they were like, you need to change clothes and gear up. We're going to start this workout. And I'm like, we, they're like, we are going to do the actual workout that she does. And it's like a two a day. It's like insane. It involves boxing people, jumping crazy ropes and doing mm -hmm. like probably the hardest workout today that I've ever done in my life. And when I tell you, I was so mortified. There were so many influencers there doing it. My ass has to get up, stop doing the workout, to go throw up some Chipotle <laughs> that I just down. I mean, I'm like, Adrian. Chunks. I know chunks, chunks are blowing out. They're like, you good, girl? <laughs> Adriana, you're like, <laughs> there's like throw in your hair. You're like, it's so it's, good. I can taste the leather. <laughs> That was me. That was a little you. It's so fun. And then after, I mean, I was like trash in there. After, they're like, everybody gets a picture. And I'm like, okay, great. Then let's take like, it. <laughs> yeah, in the picture, I'm not well. You're whittled down. I am you're, not you're just bones. Well. I'm like, yeah, you can do that workout if you fucking have done it your whole life. I and like always every day, day to have this career. My career is making videos for the internet. Yes. Like, so it just... Was anyone else, like, suffering through the workout? Or was it just you? You know, girls were definitely having to quit reps early okay, cool. and, yeah, like, yeah. suffering. But I was, like, needed to be have an ambulance. You, need, you needed to be aired out by a helicopter. <laughs> Got it. I'm thinking Hella of Laura magnet. with a full neck brace like this. <laughs> that, was, that was literally me. And it's like, Laura, are you good? I'm going to be fine. Back then, I would take any opportunity that was presented to me, and I was a little more like, yes, I'll do it. Totally. Now, Honey, if I know, like, I'm getting into something that I can't do and, like, isn't going to end well for me, I will tend to opt out. I, I completely I take my L's where I, was I have to same. take them. I was the same way. I would always you know? be like, yes, 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 everything. And now I love saying everything. no almost. Yeah, I would say yes to everything. And that's where this fucking crazy shit comes up when mm -hmm. you do that. When you know you don't want to do it, do you know it. you shouldn't be doing it, but you do it anyway. Because you're like, I have to do it because it's like for the look, for the It's vibe. for the look, for to get the picture, get the for picture, the vibe. And, like, and it's like, that. for what at the end of the literally day? For what? For what? For a shitty experience? Yeah. Like, that's literally what it was. <laughs> for me embarrassing myself? Were you throwing up in front of everyone? Yeah, I'm sure. So. Yeah, absolutely not. That was fabulous. What's, that was, what's your next cringe funny moment? You know what? I feel like one of my cringe funny moments would be. So I filmed this show called Reality House. Okay, I remember Keenan this. I remember this. And it's like we like live like in a house for a week. It's like competition. I'm still not past the fact that this dude ate a raw onion. I haven't forgotten that you um, did that. I'll, I'll actually never forget that the rest of my life. That I scarred that me. Up, like, like crazy. That scarred me. It No, I, that's not how bad it was. Like it was scarring and jarring. People like onions. They're probably like, wow, what wussies. No, but like the fact that it was like you're just eating an, like a raw like onion. An it wasn't like cooked. Yeah. It wasn't like a Disgusting. sweet onion. It was like the most bitter ass fucking onion you've ever yeah. tasted in your whole life. But anyway, so I did this show and it was like a competition thing where it's like with other YouTubers and we like, or other social media creators, we do a competition. You can win money at the end of it, essentially. It's like almost like Survivor vibes, but like competition, mm -hmm. voting, all that kind of things. But living in, it's like Big Brother. 
Oh, cool. So um, there was a moment in the house where <laughs> me and Andrea Russes, or Andrea Russes in it as well. Love her. She's great. The literal sweetest. She got famous obsessed off with her. of Vine. Mm -hmm. And she still to this day is just the funniest girl She's fantastic. Ever. I she literally is. love Andrea. Yeah, like, I'm she's obsessed. great. And so we had another contestant, Taylor. So Taylor was like kind of getting on people's nerves. Okay. Throughout like the sh like not like during the show a little bit people were like is Taylor a YouTuber? She I knew was it. Like, big on Facebook. Okay. She would like do like funny skits. Okay. Got big on Facebook. I knew and on Andrea, Twitter, but I didn't know Taylor yeah, yet. Taylor, yeah, so Taylor, I was saying she was actually one of the smaller creators that had like kind of okay. joined in. Um and so she was like cuz she was so competitive. Cause she, but she knew she was like, okay, if I win this money, like, this is like life changing money. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. she was like a little more competitive. So she was a little more like, uh, 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 kind of in with it. So me and Andrea were doing a confessionals, and we were kind of talking about the show, talking about everything. Cause you know when you're doing a reality show, like you have to do confessionals and talk about what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so we were having that moment, being like, yeah, you know, what do we do? Like, should we like vote her out? Even though she was like one of our closest friends in the house, like she was oh. like, an ally of ours. She was like, what do we do? But you know, you're kind of playing it up. Like, yeah, for the we're camera. in the confessionals. Like mm -hmm. we had to kind of talk about all angles of one thing. Mm -hmm. So we're like, yeah, what do you think? Like, no, I was like, no, like it would be like so shitty. Like we can't vote out our like close friend, da da da. And then there was like this moment she was like, like Andrew was like, yeah, you know, but she was like, she's like rubbing people the wrong way. What do you think we should vote her out? Like we're just talking out loud. Mm -hmm. Taylor busts through the fucking door. <gasps> And it's like, so you guys just oh. talk shit about our, my, talk shit about me. Oh, like, and, and the and right cameras next were to my rolling? Room, and the fucking camera was rolling. <gasps> she was listening she to was you listening guys. listening the entire time. Oh, no. Like, ear against the fucking door, listening in on the conversation. Stop. And literally, my face, when she busted through, because it wasn't like, <laughs> I thought I was joking at first. I knew you were shit. And she was like, what the fuck's going on? And she was pissed as fuck. And I was like, like oh. you know, I was like, I was about to shit my pants. Like, you know, Stop. I was about to shit myself. And I was like, Wait, like, what did you even hear? Like, you're we're like, like, you're like wait a what second. You were. What did you hear? Yeah, exactly. what, are you, what are you mad about? Though? And I was like, what are you mad about? Exactly. So I was like, girl, like, we weren't saying we were going to eliminate. Like, I was trying, we were trying we're to discussing explain. discussing options. We're discussing, like, what's going on in the house. Like, you know, you've been running people the wrong way. People have not been happy with, like, what's going on with you, too. Uh -oh. Not, like, in a bad way, crazy thing, but, like, she just wasn't getting, and even, like, watching the show back, not that she got a villain edit. But she was like the competitive one. Got it. You know what I mean? So it was a little bit more intense. When she redid the show, she ended up coming back the following oh, season. Oh, there you go. And it was just like, oh, Taylor seems so chill this season. She figured she it was. out. She like figured, she figured it out, it you out. know? So I would say like that was one of my most like shocking, cringy, embarrassing moments. I bet your like, heart dropped. It dropped to my fucking asshole. And I remember being like, I cannot believe. Did they put it in the show? Her they sure did. <gasps> of course they did. That's Absolutely. content right there. They sure, That's they, content And it was gold. crazy. It was like the confessional one. Like, and she busts oh. in and while we're doing the confessionals. And that's like the clip that they showed. And I was like, no, Whoa. you know, I was trying to, I was like, you don't understand what we're saying. We're trying to talk about over oh, collectively what's going on with the What did Andrea, show. Andrea do? She just, she like was shook. Just shook. She was shook too. She didn't even fucking say anything. She was like, eh, 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 eh. you still know what to we, do. We didn't know what to do. So I, so I was the one kind of talking and being like, listen, this is what was going on. And I think Dang. she was like, Andrea was like, do the. <laughs> so it was. Very, very shocking. Oh it was my, one of my, definitely one of my cringier moments. Um, I was shook. That is, and the fact it was on camera. And it's like not a kind of show where you just like all like live there and like happy go lucky. It's like you you eliminate your like your con the contestants. <sighs> so so you it's can't, like it's like Survivor vibes. You yeah. can't be besties. Yeah, exactly. But you can be have an alliance and like stuff like that. But you know it can go south. Awkward. Yeah, I wanted to die. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I wanted to die. That's rough, honey. Yeah. I remember you told me about that one, and I, I about you were died. Like, I I'm had pass second out. hand. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was so embarrassed. All right. Well, my last one, one before yes. we close was mm -hmm. a doozy. Katy Perry makeup again. This is another situation where I said yes to something I should have said no to. Oh, I remember this one quite uh, well. I don't think you talked about it on the pod though. I haven't. Okay. Tell the tea. So. I was in a campaign with CoverGirl. I was currently working with them. Katy Perry's a CoverGirl. They were like, Katy Perry is doing this live session on YouTube where she's live for like three days straight, 72 hours. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come in and do the makeup for one of the days? I said, oh my God, Katy Perry. Like that's yes, iconic. It's she iconic. is someone I have just been obsessed with totally. for a really long time. So I'm nervous because whenever you do a celebrity makeup, they're not normal humans. Like they're they not. are, but in the makeup genre, they're not. It's just, it's just strange. Like, it's not like, you're not getting like a, as normal of an interaction as you, no. like as a like, human being. No, you're not. And whenever you're doing their makeup, they're like always very picky. Fidgety, and, you're moving and yeah. like, talking and it's like, You ugh. don't know like what's going on. So I go there, I'm fucking nervous. 
Um, and they didn't really prep me. And again, this whole thing's live. So like even me like walking on set and like I'm on camera, like there's never a moment for me to be like taught or talked to or like any insight because yes. it's all just constantly being filmed. Right. So the cameras were on her. So her makeup artist was there. It's very, very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the table and it was like all CoverGirl products. I'm like, cool. But I was like, we don't have any bronzer. We don't, we're like missing so many yeah, products. No, like, that product, would, yeah. And they're like, she doesn't use that. The blush is the bronzer. And I'm like, what? What? Mm -hmm. the, it was a lot. So I was like, okay. And like, there wasn't a lot of brushes. So I remember I brought my own brushes, which they did let me use. I was so surprised, but I was just like, this is crazy. Oh yeah, this is kind of crazy. So I started doing her makeup right when she walked in the room. Um, she was nice, but she was stiff with me. And I was, she was like, on a good one. she was on a good one for yeah. sure. Um, I do think she was going through a lot of the time. So I'm going to give her that, but she had like Candy Johnson and Patrick Starr, I think do her makeup and she mm -hmm. just ate them up. I don't know for what reason. Is this the like you were the last day too, right? I was the first day. First day. I was the first Got day. It. Okay. So I was under the impression she did not like me. Yeah. Totally. I don't know why. But um I started doing her makeup and I was nervous, but she was snatching brushes out of my hands and the comments were getting crazy because this is live on YouTube. So yeah. everybody is not edited. Everybody's seeing everything that's happening. And the whole time I'm like doing this, I'm like sweating at this point. Like I'm so embarrassed. I know my face is red by the yeah. way she's like not liking what you're doing, what I'm doing. But you don't have a lot of things to work with either. I just like don't know what to do because like I don't know what she wants because it's yeah. not this normal face of makeup. How I would just go in and do a face like I know how to do that. Like right. with this specific Katy Perry, how she does it with the cover girl makeup. I haven't been prepped. I don't know what she does. So she's like snatching brushes and telling me, she's literally saying, you need to beat the foundation in my face. I want to feel you really pressing hard and beating it in. And it was one cool part because I pulled out my Artiste brush and yeah. I'm like, you'll really like this tool then because mm -hmm. airbrush Full finish coverage. and you can kind of like go in heavy with yeah. it. She even took it out of my hand, of course, of snatched course. out of my hand and starts doing it and like fell in love with the Artiste brush. And it's like, so there were good moments. Yeah. But when I tell you I'm not being overdramatic with like how bad it was because the comments and you can go under my post on Instagram right now that I post it with her. All the this? comments are like, girl, the way she treated you, girl, like they were mad at her for how yeah. poorly. But for me, like I can push all that aside. I was embarrassed. How'd you not black out? How do you even I remember any of it? I swear to God, I don't remember. I don't remember any I of was that. so embarrassed. I was so just, I wanted to just die when I left there. I, but like after, right after we're done and we go through all this trauma of the makeup, she, I'm like, you know, saying goodbye. And she's like super fucking nice and like taking pictures with me mm -hmm. and Ty and like all for it. But like the makeup was trauma. That's so weird to me. I had her makeup artist, I think, step in at one part because I couldn't do it. Like I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I, don't, I, I didn't know died. what to I do. I honestly would have died. I really would have. I don't know I what I can't I've remember. Done. It was like something with the eyes. I was just like, like she was just like, I could tell like so unhappy and like snatching brushes mm -hmm. and like already on one when she walked in. Yeah. So just wasn't having me doing her makeup. I'm like, they should have just had her makeup artist do her makeup for this. Totally. And just be there like ask her questions or like something chill. <laughs> but now like if a, I would probably say no, if this happened again, where it was the same scenario where it's like this one brand, live. it's live, yeah, it's no. not going to be edited mm -hmm. and it's like, using I, I i the thing is i would never just jump in and be like yes i'll do it i'd be like i want to be prepped yep. i want to know, know how this now. is going to be filmed you know in more. editing the more you know yeah i want to know the products i'm allowed to use i want to know i want to talk to her artist like i will not put myself in that situation ever again horrifying horrifying i remember that but the thing I remember is, you me after i was do you like remember? that is trauma it was trauma but the thing is at the end of the day i still like katie perry totally every single person on the world by the way after we did that segment she went on to another segment and cried all the makeup off i remember because i remember didn't she like have like a bad like something she, had happened yeah and she was like talking i don't know if it was a therapist but it was something yeah it was like part of the live thing she cried all the makeup off so i was like clearly she was going through something i caught yeah. a little bit of the brunt of that totally but as someone who's like young and like a youtuber and not experiencing this and kind of got thrown into the wolves i was like also not fair for me you totally. know like on both you of our parts what was going on <laughs> Fuck. you weren't even prepped like how that'll like, never happen usually, to me again like it's also so weird because like you usually get prepped like so much for things like that yeah like heavily actually yeah. they're very like you can't say this it's like there's so many things that they like ask of you nowadays yeah 
Right. So it w- it was just wild, but I'm happy that's over. Totally. And it was like definitely an experience. <sighs> I can't. I have one last one. That's All right. Make- I want to hear that's it. That's a makeup one. I want to hear it. And it was when I had like the we have I have photos of the makeup done. Can we get an insert of the photo? <laughs> Please. I don't know if we can get an insert of the photo because it's so bad. It's so but bad. I don't know I know if what I you're want talking that photo about. I know you're talking about. Internet. I don't think you should post it because the the photo will circulate. It will circulate and it would be like, oh my God, Manny's makeup so bad. Like it's as if it's And mine. then it'll get back to and the it's artist. Not. And then it get back it's to the, the artist. artist. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So essentially I got my makeup done. So I was doing a brand deal with the brand, right? And they're like, okay, we're going to do this brand deal. We have this product coming out with this uh, makeup artist and we want to do like a brand deal with you. And I was like, okay, cool. It sounds good. And they're, and they're like, this celebrity makeup artist is going to glam you. Okay. They're going to glam you and it's going to be using this product, right? And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm so down. Like they're a famous makeup artist. Sounds great. They've done celebrities before. They've done X, Y, and Z. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm so down. Like they're going to beat me into the ground. It's going to be so good. So get on set. Very sweet person. Everything's like all fine until the makeup started happening. This story to this day haunts me. I've, you guys, <laughs> I've never had my makeup look worse than when this artist did my makeup. It looked like a child did your makeup. It looked like a, like I'm talking to the point where like they were using black eyeshadow to contour me. Black eyeshadow. And it would be contoured here, contoured here with using black and brown. <laughs> Let's talk about the lashes. Like the lashes look like little twigs. How many lashes did they put on you? I think that they put five pairs of lashes on me. And he is not being funny. Tyler's, Tyler's giggling. They put five pairs of Manny small. Manny is not being dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. Like I, they put five pairs of smaller lashes stacked. They stacked and they did. You guys listen to me right now. <laughs> no one lash. <laughs> one lash was going straight up and one stack of five was going straight up. What they did is they put the pair on me and then they put another pair on me and they put another like five times and it wasn't like a little like where it was like a lash where you like usually if you're going to build up on a lash you put it on you glue them together you glue them together and then you put it on it's like okay that's a stack lash boom they built five pairs onto me they outlined my lip with black eyeshadow <laughs> Whiskers, <laughs> and it looked like I was a catfish <laughs> because the an actual catfish, the, the fish, drug the lip like uh, out on the sides like this, like choo, 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 like gave out. me a little flip to my lip. <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. I've never seen that in my whole, in my whole I've life. I've never seen that. Um, the the mascara on the lower lashes, <laughs> it looked like I had three lashes on my. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like as if he, <laughs> it's as if they purposely like clumped them together almost. It he, looked, he had three large lashes. Three large lashes on the bottom. I don't. I, at the end of the day, oh my nose contour was also black. Black, and brown. black pa- shadow, and it was rounded out like out here, so it was way farther out than a nose contour should be, mind you. So it was overall the craziest experience ever. So I ended up like going back and I'm like, yo, it's like to the brand, like, I don't know what to tell you, but like I can't post this video. If you posted that, the I artist would have got been wrecked. destroyed. It would have got fucking wrecked and reamed. And the thing is, like, oh, the art. So my lipstick. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you this part. My lipstick I did in the past, but was only eyeshadow because it was only the palette that was being used. The product was only eyeshadow. Is that where the black and contour was, black. was coming yep. in? Mm-hmm. And it was. Eyeshadow. It was eyeshadow, and then it was a gloss on top of just the eyeshadow. Oh no! Yeah, so it was actually. Um, I've never looked worse in my entire existence. And it is shocking. The picture shocking. The photo is, is shocking. really bad. Um, and so I, so I end up, so I end up telling the brand like later. On, I was like, hey, like this is not postable. Like this is this unpostable. Is I'm postable. so sorry. Like this, like it, I'm saving you. And I'm saving the artist from like this feel like embarrassment. The brand understood. They didn't. What would happen if you posted that picture? Like, I don't think they understood that. They didn't because then they tried me. Do you remember? I, I remember. They That's why fully I know. Tried me. They, they didn't were, like, get it. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna get legal involved. They we wanted to literally get legal involved. Yeah. And Manny did not post they didn't the picture post it of it was the so, look because it was so bad. People would have thought it was a joke. Yeah, absolutely. They thought it was April Fools. They would have literally been like, did you do a funny makeup challenge? Like, mm-mm. 
It was, it was very so serious. crazy. It was really bad. And so they were like, we're going to get legal involved if you're not going to post that. And Manny so I was said, like, go get legal right involved. ahead. He told him, go right ahead. And I literally like handed it over to my manager. I was like, yo, I and need you to handle this bullshit. And as soon as the jury saw that picture. <laughs> The jury's like, oh. The jury's out. And and the, the case is closed. Close. The case was set. The case is Close. sealed, signed, sealed, delivered. <laughs> and we, uh, and I never posted the, and nothing came of it. And I never ended up posting the video. The brand. And I never got paid for the has, brand, obviously. They have no idea how much trouble you save them. They really don't. Because I'm like, this doesn't make your collab look good. You're not going to sell one palette off that look. No, if no. anything, there's going to be a if return. If anything, they're going to unsubscribe from my channel. <laughs> You're going to lose followers. I'm going to lose followers from this makeup. I'm not kidding. Like it was, it was, I've never in my life with makeup. When, even when I started makeup, when I was, it was better. Years, it was I, better. I was better than that. I just want to know. My first makeup experience was better than that. It's just shocking how stuff can go more wrong than you think. And that's why you have to sometimes just like be overprepared and ask more questions than you think you have to. But when, when I was in young, the mirror, <gasps> what did you think when you saw <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I'm like seven shades too dark. Oh, no, no, no. That uh, on top of it as well. No, no. And I was looking at myself like, why do I have a full coverage foundation on me set with Studio Fix powder by MAC? <laughs> why am I seven layers, layers deep right now? deep. You are. Of, of the wrong shade, of NC20. No, sorry, of NC40. I don't even wear NC40. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 So no, the no. whole thing truly was, like, the most It was a revelation. Thing. It was. And I remember, like, show, telling Laura, showing her the photos. She has never seen me look like that. I have. I was. It's shocking. When I thought he may have been dramatic with the black eyeshadow core contour, when I tell you there was straight up <laughs> black all over his face, just, like, all over his jaw, you look devastated. I, <laughs> because I, your face in like, that picture is <laughs> like a mugshot. Like you're it was like, a mugshot. You are devastated. It was as if I had just gotten arrested <laughs> by the makeup police. <laughs> you would have been. And I would have been, actually. Oh, my so honestly, God. that was probably my, 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 my last ones for at least for this video. And you have always protected the artist and the brand. And the brand. And even even when they tried me, I still would never said their never name. Never said what their name. So there's I've that. been not very nice. <laughs> I've been very fucking nice. So don't try me, please. <laughs> it's coming out one day. Because like, I'm out of 10. Pick more. somebody else. Pick somebody else. I'm out else. of fucking 10. All right, guys. Well, that is our cringe <laughs> for the week. Our funny cringe. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed today's. We have more moments. <laughs> we have, we more. have many more. If you guys like this, let us know. We can yeah. always make a part tour. We can. That was so funny. That was awesome. That was good. That was a good episode. I loved it. <sighs> you know what I think we should do on this episode? Mm. You guys should comment a word if you stayed till the end. Oh, my God. That's genius. Yeah. Okay, only for, but mind. it's a secret. You can't tell people in the you comments. Can't tell. It's only for you guys that stay till the end. Oh, I love that. What word should it be? The first word that came to my mind was penguin. I don't know why. Comment penguin down below. Comment penguin. Don't say while you're why you're don't doing why. it. Don't say why. No, don't say why. Just comment That's penguin. That's the first word that came to penguin. If you made it to the end, comment penguin so we can know who's watching to the end. We we, we want to know the, where the real Re ass bitches oh. are. Bro, Where are the spot? real ass bitches? <laughs> It'll be fun though. So be sure to comment that. that. We'll be on the lookout. We love you guys. We love you guys so much. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, like. Don't forget to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to podcasts. Apple podcast, anywhere. Give us a five star. We'd really, really appreciate it. Help the podcast grow, of course. And we'll see you in the next episode. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.